Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Ted again here with uh, Tech Vitamins, and today we're going to be uh, showing you a uh, couple of the new uh, operating system design changes and uh, new features implemented in uh, Google's new mobile phone OS, uh, Android 4.0, uh, more commonly known as Ice Cream Sandwich. All right, so. Um, when you when you power up the phone and uh, take a look at the new lock screen it uh, uh, just allows you to uh, able to unlock the screen or you're also able to go quickly to the camera so just uh, I know that's been in uh, some other Android phones here a little bit earlier but uh, nice of Google to go ahead and just bake it into their OS so uh, we'll go ahead and unlock here and uh, when we first get into the home screen you'll notice that uh, the Google search bar that's uh, always at the top of the default home screen it is now static and uh, I don't really like that I don't know I don't know how you guys feel about it but I I more tend to go for like a minimalist look um, uh, but um, got the uh, traditional you know little little dock down here with uh, access to the uh, new uh, don't know if I can really say new and improved uh, launcher but um, it is new and um, it uh, now allows you to scroll uh, you know left and right as opposed to uh, up and down and that's another thing that I'm not really too fond of I like the uh, vertical scroll uh, this is kind of more like a, an iOS feel, but um, uh, it does allow you to scroll through your uh, through all of your installed applications. And this is also now how you access your widgets. If you see widgets up there, uh, you can also quickly go to the uh, widgets by hitting that button. Or if you're in your apps, you can just scroll until you get to the widgets. Now, as you can see, this isn't the you know the best way to organize them if you have a lot of widgets like I do um, you know you just have to continue to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll until you get to the widget that you want to go to and actually as you see I finally you know, there we go I finally just hit the end and I got a ton of widgets so you know that I, I don't really like that um, I think they could have you know uh, just allowed you to add widgets from the home screen like they did in previous versions but that is no longer how they are letting you do that um, so we'll go back home here now this is popping up because I run ADW launcher uh, that won't pop up um, if you're just you know just running the regular uh, default launcher uh, what else have they added they've also uh, gone ahead and spruced up the uh, recent applications list so holding down home you can see that they've uh, kind of given it like a nice uh, you know uh, what can I say uh, like card flow style if you will uh, also it uh, tells you what the application is on the left and gives you a little uh, visual cue on the right and allows you to scroll through the last use applications I really really like that that's real nice um, you know, just let you go back to whatever you were using. Uh, okay, so we'll go back home. <clears throat> they have also added in the uh, new People's app, so this is real nice too. It, uh, you know, just has a has a nice new fresh look to it. Organizes everything real nice, and uh, also too, um, you know, it's got your your uh, maps location or here it has earth location um, has you know a uh, nice new layout of the uh, actual contact picture as well uh, let's see here and um, they've also gone ahead and kind of uh, given a new uh, facelift to a few of the Google apps You're, uh, you've probably already seen uh, Google Plus because uh, I, I do believe that they they updated that uh, you know separately um, think that's available on the market um, just kind of gave it a a new little look but didn't change too many things um, and then the the new uh, music application um, that is, this is also available on the market as well 
uh, allows you allows you to now uh, use Google's new um, well not new too much uh, that uh, online music service that they offer and uh, what the uh, applications that they've drastically changed and uh, I really like is the uh, new Gmail application now uh, the Gmail application has a nice fresh look they're kinda of going with that uh, same look that they have done with uh, you know like their their online websites like uh, Docs and Gmail and um, what else I, I know I was uh, I was actually just surfing YouTube last night and they they did a little facelift on the uh, YouTube you know this kinda gray and and white thing um, they've also done away with separate inboxes the uh, inboxes are, are all unified you see I got two two uh, gmail accounts synced to the phone right now and um, you know if I were to have uh, mail from from you know both both email addresses they would all show up here but I've just got one from my uh, from my personal account and uh, another another app that they've uh, gone ahead and like kinda totally revamped is the uh, gallery and I really like the new gallery a lot of a lot of people have been uh, saying that it's kinda cluttered uh, that's what I've been hearing uh, you know what I've been reading on the net uh, but like I said this one here it's real fast this uh, folder has 173 f pictures in it uh, it's icons and you know it's nice and responsive and it it does still kind of have that little you know 3d look to it um, but it's just a lot quicker I really like that one uh, everything moves a lot smoother uh, they've also given uh, where's YouTube uh, given YouTube their uh, mobile YouTube version a little bit of a new look too so you kinda going with the grays and more kind of minimal clean look um, I like that that's a that's a nice little look too um, and another one that they've kind of you know really changed is the calendar which is real nice now the calendar's got a real cool feature in it <clears throat> where is my calendar there we go gotta get used to the new icons uh, calendar now has uh, pinch to zoom in it so if we're no we're not on a month if we go to week you can now pinch and zoom so if you've got you know uh, say you had something at 5 a.m. it's just up there if it's uh, all shrunk down you know you get the tiny description but then you can now pinch to zoom on that so that's real cool and uh, you know they, they've once again gone with that you know minimalist look with the white and the grays uh, and also uh, is the uh, the new font Roboto is uh, what they're calling it uh, supposed to be you know a little bit easier on the eye um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, you know the new design uh, change change the folders uh, folders folders have always been here uh, but those look a little bit different uh, you know they open with a black background you can uh, change the name by tapping on the uh, label down there at the bottom uh, but that's pretty much folders and it gives it this kind of like layered look of the uh, applications that are in there um, and that uh, yeah that pretty much uh, gets rid of you know gets rid of all the new look and then of course you know the uh, blue blue status icons and uh, that brings us to uh, the uh, features um, new features is uh, you know new 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 menu um, when you bring up the settings um, what is uh, really cool is is now for phones that have um, NFC um, which is that chip which allows uh, was near field communications which allows for uh, communications just by being within you know being within a close range 
uh, he is a Android Beam, which allows you to basically send something from another phone uh, just by being close to it. Uh, you can send like um, you can send apps, you can send web pages, you can send contact information. Uh, so that's going to be really cool to see what what developers will do with. Um, and that's in uh, in here. You you just have to enable NFC. And uh, then you can uh, turn Android Beam on. Uh, they've also um, updated the uh, browser. The browser now syncs with uh, Chrome. And that uh, brings, you know, all your bookmarks over. And, uh, you know, just kind of creates that more of a, a seamless... Uh, you know, seamless, seamless uh, browsing, you know. Um, so you get to those guys. By, how do you pull up those bookmarks here? Okay, yep. So you're still getting a little new here. Um, corner, and then you pull up your bookmarks here. And these are local on the phone. And see, I've got my uh, personal account synced here. So it's got all of my... Uh, bookmarks from my Chrome browser on the PC or whatever operating system you're running it on. Also does your history and your saved pages as well up here. History, save pages. Uh, so I really like that and then this is the uh, new tab browser. Uh, gives you a more visual uh, interface as opposed to just the tabs running across the top. Um, and uh, another another big feature that they were kind of pushing when they uh, when they launched the new OS was uh, face unlock, which is uh, you know kind of kind of cool, more like a ooh and ah look what my phone can do, but it's not really secure because it can be tricked by a, uh, a another phone with your picture on it or just basically just a regular printed picture. Uh, so you would get to that by <clears throat> pulling up your settings again. And underneath of your security, and then you have, uh, you can actually choose your unlock version. What, it, what I mean, whichever way you want to unlock the phone. And that is here with your face unlock. So that is uh, pretty cool. You know, like I said, more like a ooh and a ah feature rather than something that you'd really want to use. Uh, they've also gone ahead and added uh, long-awaited, but they've gone ahead and added um, resizable widgets. So as you can see here, I can actually resize that to whatever I'd like. But the bad thing is, is that it only works with the uh, with Google's new widgets, like uh, like their built-in email widget and Gmail widget. And here I have the calendar widget. So not every widget is resizable. I'm pretty sure the uh, new YouTube widget is resizable as well. Uh, but uh, like Google Docs isn't resizable. And like uh, here my, my calendar widget isn't resizable. This clock widget isn't resizable. The widget widget isn't resizable. So it's, uh, you know, almost there. Uh, maybe maybe that'll be changed when uh, I don't know maybe that's something that the developers have to update to allow but can't do it for the uh, time being just on Google's new widgets uh, another another cool feature that they've gone ahead and added is uh, built-in screenshots so you can take a screenshot anywhere you are by holding the uh, volume down and the power key and you get that and it uh, saves a screenshot. Uh, another feature that I really really like is the uh, data usage screen. So if you're on like a prepaid account you can monitor your data usage. Um, that's done by in the settings of course and you can actually pull up your data usage here and you can see I've only used about what 72.63 megs. Now that's probably not spot on but Nice little feature of Google to add. So that's uh, pretty much all the uh, you know all the new features that they've gone ahead and baked in. Oh oh no, let me don't let me forget this. Um, 
it's real cool is uh, now if you've got uh, multiple notifications uh, you no longer have to get rid of all of them at the same time you can get rid of single ones if you want to so you do that just by swiping out to the left or to the right and if you've got a bunch of them when you hit the X they kind of you know zoom out cascading so that's pretty cool and it flips the uh, notification tab back up for you so yeah those are uh, those are all the uh, you know all the really you know new big features that you're probably going to be using the most and um, you know I, I like it I like it a lot real you know uh, so far uh, real nice uh, UI uh, whole whole thing looks real good I can't wait to see it on a tablet probably looks even better um, but the the biggest thing that I that I really don't like is this new you know launcher I really think they could have done a better way of uh, you know organizing my widgets or or the widgets um, probably wouldn't be too bad on a tablet but like I said on a phone it's if you got a lot of widgets because I like to change the way my phone looks um, it's just kinda like a pain in the butt to keep going through all of these when when you do wanna find a widget um, so uh, yeah that's uh, ice cream sandwich um, if you wanna know where to get this ROM I'm gonna go ahead and put a link for it in the uh, comments down below it's uh, uh, built by a guy that's uh, got a, a post on the uh, XDA forums in the uh, Nexus S uh, section. Uh, not sure if the ROM is available yet. I've heard that it uh, that uh, a few builds may be floating around for uh, some other Samsung phones, the uh, Galaxy S and the Galaxy S2, but um, I haven't heard too much about those. But uh, yeah, love the uh, operating system and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and uh, thanks for watching take care